My name is Adrienne Zuckerman, and I'm a Master's of Science candidate at the University of Idaho, studying water resources, science, and management. We are in Twisp, Washington today, after doing field work in the Met Howe Basin. Salmon in the Pacific Northwest have a strong cultural legacy. Not only did they provide sustenance for Native American tribes for thousands of years, but anyone who has lived in the Pacific Northwest has a connection to the fish that return. That's become a cultural part of our identity in the Northwest. The project I'm working on is part of a basin-wide study addressing whole stream metabolism. We're trying to identify the heartbeat of the stream, essentially. I am making an assessment of the riparian leaf contributions to the annual carbon budget of each of these stream sites. And what I'm looking at is the type of trees that line the stream bank, um, whether they're deciduous or whether they're coniferous, and the quantity of leaf material or needles that fall into the stream each year and become available for consumption by bugs that live in the stream. And those bugs are an important source of food for endangered salmonids. We're really lacking an understanding of the best scenario for stream food webs and production of salmon food and what dynamics create the best resources. So ultimately where this might go is into a series of management practices or recommendations. Each tree might, might actually make a difference. So having a better understanding of how those plants affect the stream is, is really what I'm hoping um, to have at the result of at the end of the study. This is a really unique and, and pretty novel method for measuring riparian leaf inputs to a stream. Uh, the standard method is to use a series of leaf baskets, which are essentially laundry baskets or pan traps deployed along the riparian area for an entire year and collected at multiple intervals and assessed in the lab. The standard method wasn't going to work for this study, so I was really looking for an alternative method that would be able to allow me to assess biomass uh, within these transects and plots along the left and right bank. As soon as I used the LP80, I recognized that it would really streamline the process. Um, I could get an annual estimate of the leaf biomass in one series of surveys, um, rather than a full year of data collection. And also with the LP80, there isn't a lab analysis component, which really cuts time down considerably. So as soon as I started using the LP-80 instrument, I looked Decagon up. I found that the J. Harris Fellowship Award was, the window was coming up and I decided to apply. I was excited that there was an opportunity and that Decagon really valued putting these instruments in the hands of students um, in order to improve their understanding and, and get access to the highest tech instrumentation out there. I'm really grateful to Decagon for providing this instrument for me to use in my stream ecology research. I think the LP80 it probably has a greater potential to be used in the field in riparian field ecology studies and salmon ecosystem restoration work. <laughs>